know that you did the first uh, research on EFT with uh, David uh, Lack. And uh, on top of that, you were, as a psychologist, you were using a lot EFT with children. And so they're the adult and, uh, you know, they're going to be teaching this to the child. But before teaching it, you learn it. And you, the, there's one thing to learn tapping. You can learn the process of tapping on the points. And of course you can teach that. But if you haven't learned it in your body, if you haven't experienced it in your body, then I encourage you to learn it in your body so that you will feel congruent when you go and you use it with other people. Because it's much easier to, to sell something that you have already purchased that, for yourself because you know the benefits. And therefore, when you say this is good for you, you won't be just saying do what I say, you'll be saying do what I do, okay? And that's what kids need today. They want that real, truthful, helpful stuff, you know? Now, there's another thing that David Lack and I um, emphasized, and they don't do this in EFT because many people using EFT now, they use the upper body points. Yeah. We teach people to tap on the finger points and using the thumb of the same hand to tap on the finger points. Now, this is a great thing for children to be able to learn because you can tap on the finger points discreetly. So I could be talking to you right now and I'm tapping on the finger points. A child could be waiting for their um, their test and they could be tapping on the finger points. Mm. They could be waiting for their turn to have to do their talk in front of the class and they could be tapping on the finger points. They could be actually even doing their talk and maybe behind their back or with the mm. hand in the, the jacket if they need it, just tapping on the finger points. And so this is a, this is a way of teaching them self-soothing so that they can go into difficult situations yeah. and they can touch.